morning. Hiya. Good afternoon, rather. Hi. Right. Okay, good. Quick chat. Quick Wait, chat? Yeah. yeah. What for? Um, we've had a call from um, the 90 Gale Hospital. If you find no problem with your filming, just let you know we wear body warm, which is likewise, okay? Yeah, That's but I'm on that. public and I'm, I'm just taking I'm some photos. Not. I'm not saying you're not on public property at the moment. That's not what I've said, is it? I've just been asked, just wondering what the nature of your visit was. You've been down at the Nightingale Hospital before here, is that right? And they've asked you to stop I'm just taking some... F no, I'm not, I wasn't on their property. Well, they've said otherwise. Mm. Right. Have you got any identification, you say? Do I need to identify myself? Well, I'm just asking for your details, I'm just trying to establish who it is. That do I need to say. identify myself? I'm asking you for it to do it, because at the moment I'm just trying to work out what, if anything's going on I've here, not committed a crime. Or not there's any offences that are taking place. I've not committed no crime. If you've been filming on another premises, when they've asked you not to... I have not been on their premises at all. They said, obviously, we weren't there they say otherwise so at the moment we're just trying to bottom out i don't see there's anything wrong with that yeah i know Obviously i've not been on there i've not been on their property Okay, but at the moment, they say otherwise can you show us a footage which would obviously prove or disprove that because your camera would be able to tell if you were or weren't yeah i can prove that yeah yeah do you, do you mind showing us the footage then really okay. from what i can gather after you've left there was some words that were exchanged and you've shouted some Abusive comments back towards the staff. No that, abusive comments. I was saying, not shouting at them. They you shout some comments. That can be classed as what we call antisocial behaviour. So under Section 50, the Police Reform Act 2002, we have a power then to request the name and address of the individual that we suspect of being involved in it. That's the legislation. You're you're more than welcome to have a look what's, at that. What's the word? Oh well, I know that um, legislation actually. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So you will know that that's correct, and you know that then it becomes a defence for you not to give it to an officer. I have not acted in any antisocial manner. But that's the allegation. I that's know that's the allegation. So have you got some identification on you that can I do not need to identify that? myself. I've, I've not committed I've a crime. I've just quoted you the legislation that goes with it. Because if you are shouting and abusive towards a member of the public or a member of staff at the, at the time... I was not shouting. I was not shouting. I was not shouting. It's just an allegation. It's an, uh, it's an allegation. I know it's an allegation. I was not course, shouting. But that's the allegation made, so we need to identify who you are. No, you don't. I've not committed... Have I committed a crime? Hmm? What crime? Do you suspect me of committing? I've already explained well, that it could be a public order offence, couldn't it? Couldn't it? Public order? So if you've yeah. been shouting and swearing down there? I have not been swearing and I have not been shouting. Well, that's the allegation that's been made. That's I've your asked side you of the story. You've been on the camera and you're not willing to do that. So I've asked you to try and meet us halfway and you don't seem prepared or wanting or willing to engage with us. So it's a perfectly civil question that I'm asking. I don't think I'm asking the world. Am I being detained? I'm trying to figure out how Am it, I being detained? Being argumentative at the moment. I'm not being argumentative. I'm trying to get well, to the I'm, bottom of if I'm being detained. At the moment, if we suspect there's an offence, then potentially yes. I've not been shouting, sir. But I don't know. You're that. Are falsely accusing me. I'm not falsely accusing not you. Falsely. I'm not accusing we work you on allegations. That's what yeah. police work on. Sir, Section am I being detained? Section allows officers to arrest. We arrest on suspicion of an offence. We're not proving anyone guilty. I'm not arresting you. I'm just saying at the moment there's an allegation of an offence. So am I being detained? Powers under. A, Am I being detained? Sir, I'm trying to explain that you keep Am talking I being across, detained? Sir, you keep talking across me. Sir, am I being you, detained? That's your question. As, mate, if we suspect an offence, then possibly, because if I can't work out who you are, then I can't deal with it in any other way. Because I, I don't have know not committed an offence, sir. With all due respect, sir, if everyone that I spoke to told me I didn't commit an offence and I left it there and there was nothing anymore, the police would never achieve anything, would we? No, I'm fully aware. Yeah. That so what... obviously, you know that we're duty bound to investigate any allegations. If yes. you were to report a crime to us, you would want us to investigate it and you would expect us to take all reasonable steps. Is that fair? Sir, I would like to go home. I think at the moment you're just trying to be deliberately confrontational, trying to provoke a response, which is all very unnecessary, isn't it? No, sir. Why is it not? I've explained, you've asked for legislation, you say you've moved up in the laws and stuff, so you, if, you, if that's correct, you know that legislation, you know that that is a true and accurate thing, isn't it? I haven't made it up. You're more than welcome to look Am up. I being detained? We're trying to work out an offence, and at the moment you're making it very difficult. Have I committed so, a crime? Just want to bear with, and I'll give him a quick call. Find exactly what we're saying, yeah. and we'll work out from there. Right, I'm going to go, sir. No, you're not. Not the time being. Am I being detained? Right. Sir, we're trying to talk to you, trying to be as sensible as possible. You're making it very, very difficult, and if you want to, that's absolutely fine. But it just means that this process is going to take that a little bit longer, isn't it? So you're going to have to bear with us. I am not making it any harder, sir. I've got to get going, sir. Oh, you're going to be late for this rate, aren't you? Because we need to get your details. Have I committed a crime? Well, we don't know yet. That's what my colleague's on the phone for. My colleague's going to speak to the person that's called us, and then we'll know, won't we? All right? Do you understand? Understand what, sir? The reason why we've been called and there's been an allegation made against you. There is an allegation. So there you is say. An allegation. So that's what you're saying. There's an allegation that's been made. Of what? Swearing and shouting. Me on the street, swearing and shouting. Yeah. I've not been swearing and shouting, sir. That's what, that's what most people say when we go and speak to them, isn't it?
if we went, like my colleague said, if we went by everyone that said that, we wouldn't get very far, which is why we have to investigate it, which is why we need your details so that we can contact you if we need to. So if you give us your details, we can contact you if we need to, the likelihood is we probably won't. Once my colleague's spoken to the other people, we know what's going on. Sir, I've just spoken to the gentleman and he's given us a call and he's saying that once you've left the site after being a bit confrontational with him, you've used words to the effect of you fat cunt. No, right sir. Towards him, and that's what you show back. No, that sir. That is a public order offence. I have not, sir. That would be classed as a public order offence, okay? That's recorded that, crime. I have no way, sir. With that, so we need to work out whether or not we need to, what we need to be doing with this. That's the allegations we made. I don't know. I wasn't there. It's my job to investigate. I'm not it. there now. And I, I'm, I'm on my way, sir. Right, okay, but I need to work out your details now because I'm going to have to record that as a crime. That's what we call a section 5 public I order have offense. not committed. And at the moment, let me just finish. Let me just Any offence, sir? Sir. We suspect the offence has taken place, which would be a section 5 public order offence, okay? With that, I then have to investigate the crime as I would do any other. Part of that is when an identified suspect comes to our attention, and you say match the description of the offender that was passed to us in that incident, I then have to record suspect details. If you are refusing to provide it under the PACE section 24 in code G, you are giving me a necessity for arrest to ascertain your name, to ascertain your address. If I cannot do that today, I will have no other option then but to potentially have to arrest you for that offence, which I don't want so to do. So you're threatening me no, with I'm arrest? Threatening you. I'm so are you threatening with arrest, no, sir? No. So are you I'm saying, are you, you. going to arrest me? No. I said potentially. Because I don't want to, because it is a relatively low level offence for which I can so deal with. So you will be arresting me, sir? Another, is that what you're going to be saying? You're talking across me again. Are I'm you? listening to you. Please give me the same courtesy and listen to what I'm saying. You're not honouring your oath, are you? Yes. Yes, yes we are. If you do not provide me with your details, I cannot ascertain who you are. So then I would have no lines of investigation and I would not be doing my duty. I wouldn't be doing the service to the public that we present and who we safeguard, all right? If I can't get those details, it is quite possible that you will be arrested because I have no other way of progressing that crime complaint. If you reported to me that someone damaged your house... Or so is that like what that, you're saying? And I let the you're threatening... Apart, you're threatening... So you're no, making sir, threats I'm to not, arrest me? It's not a no, threat. It's not a threat. So you it, will be arresting it's me? It's not a threat. I'll explain to you it's a possibility at this time. If you don't give us your name I don't want to. I'm not... It's an option difficult. we have, yes. I'm not obliged, am I? What yeah. crime have I committed, sir? Section 5 public order. Have I, though? Yes. That's the allegation. What do we arrest on? Have, we have I committed suspicion? a crime? Have I? Am I about to commit a crime? Or have offense. I committed a crime? We arrest on suspicion of an offence. You do not. Yes, we do. For the purposes of just moving this along, that is my warrant card. It says police officer. Okay? Satisfied? Police constable is my title. I hold the office of constable. That is neither here nor there, and I think he's just being obstructive. I've said to you, I don't want to arrest you. I want to deal with this sensibly and proportionately. However, I will, if I have to, because I cannot possibly progress this any further if I don't know who you are. All you'd have to do is give me your details and I can work it out from there and I can do slow time inquiries if need to be, or we can bottom this out here and now. So it's 12.43, I'm arresting your suspicion of section 